Norway's sovereign wealth fund gained almost $40 billion in 2015, and that's thanks to a year-end rally in stock markets. The world's largest sovereign wealth fund now stands at around $830 billion. It has investments in 9,000 companies in 75 countries. The fund's gains will most likely be erased this year amid renewed market volatility. The Norwegian government made its first withdrawal of $700 $180 million in January as oil revenues plummeted. A further $935 million is expected to be withdrawn this year. TRT World's senior business producer Azhar Sukri joins us now to explain exactly what all of those figures mean. Azhar, who does Norway's sovereign wealth fund actually benefit? Well, it was set up essentially as a backstop for its pension system. So it's the uh, insurance policy, if you will, against the volatility that Norway could experience uh, if it wasn't for this. It acts as a buffer. Now, remember that Norway derives about a fifth of its economy from the sale of oil and gas. Um, that's actually relatively low when you look at, you know, petro economies around the world. It, so Norway is a pretty well diversified economy as it is. Uh, but the other uh, reason for the existence of these funds is actually to help diversify that even further. Um, now, um, as with any economy that's so reliant on one product, it is, as you mentioned there, feeling the pinch of oil, uh, of the plunge in oil prices mm. that we saw. Um, growth has essentially ground to a halt last year. It, Unemployment is also on the way up in Norway. It's right now running at about 4.6%, low again by developed world standards, but high for Norway. Uh, it's up from about 3% the previous year. Um, so the government's putting a brave face on this. The, uh, the Prime Minister is saying that she's going to keep maintaining an expansive economic policy. In other words, mm -hmm. she's going to keep interest rates low in order to keep pumping money into the economy. Um, so, you know, Norway coming off of a success story, but still suffering there. And as how for those of us who aren't as well versed in economics as your learned self, can you take us through exactly how a sovereign wealth fund works? It's actually quite simple, really. I mean, essentially, it's a, a fund that is set up when you have an excess of cash. Uh, so countries around the world, for example, and as you mentioned, Norway is the biggest, but you've also got Dubai, which is the second largest, um, with a fund of about $770 billion. Uh, China, of course, the third largest sovereign wealth fund. It's been doing phenomenally well over the last three decades. Um, and Saudi Arabia, the world's top oil exporter. So essentially, these funds are mandated to invest these excess funds, mainly in very safe investments. So a large chunk of it actually just goes in cash, although that proportion has actually been falling because of the low interest rates. The rest of it goes into things like government bonds of very safe governments, like the developed world. And then the rest of it goes into uh, stocks and shares. Uh, but there again, stocks that are considered safe. So that's essentially how that works. But, you know, Norway's Sovereign Wealth Fund, as you mentioned, their worst, performing, uh, uh, worst performance in many years. Mm, definitely concerning for Norway. Azhar Sukri, thank you for your input, as always.